Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So this video you're about to see on YouTube is a free preview of my course on Timeleaf and the Spring Framework, how they work together. If you like what you see in this series, head over to my website at springframework.guru and you can learn more about the full course. Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So in this section, we are going to start actually using the time leap templating engine. So, so far in the course, we've just been using HTML documents. And what we're going to do is first, we're going to set up Spring MVC to, to actually render those templates and through the, the template engine. And then the, the actual HTML documents, we need to add a new namespace in, in there for time leaf so we can pick up the time leaf tags and still have it be a valid document. And then what we're going to do is we'll show you how those documents get rendered through the time leaf engine. It's a, a really small change that we need to make, but first we need to set up Spring MVC and then convert over the documents. And at the end of this module, we'll show you how to use some uh, of the time leaf tags to start rendering static content like the, the CSS and JavaScript resources that we were using CDN for. We'll start rendering those from the Tomcat application server via Spring MVC.